How you doing you guys? This is Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. Thanks for joining us today in another video part series on how to test and diagnose different electronic components in your vehicle. Today we are going to be looking at the very simple fuse and we're going to be showing you how to test a fuse to make sure that it has good continuity through it and how to check for As failures. Always, before we get into the nitty gritties, make sure to watch the first video in this series as it goes over all the tools and the diagnostic equipment we use. Plus it goes into some basic theory of how all these little components in your car work. Give you a better understanding before we get into this. So here we're looking at a 30 amp fuse. This is your normal small fuse. Um, as you can see delegated by the 30 on top. I'm holding it with an alligator clip because my hands are too chubby. So your basic fuse here, you've got two prongs that go into the, into the fuse panel and you have two testing ports on top. So you can test these fuses in one of two ways. You can either test it at the top while it's plugged in the vehicle, or you could pull it out of the vehicle and test it on top or bottom. It is up to you. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the out of vehicle method since we're here on the bench. Guys, first thing we're gonna wanna do is grab our multimeter and we're gonna set it to the ohms reading. Either you can do the ohms or if you have an audible ohms reading, either way works as well. All right, let's go ahead and grab our fuse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug one end to one side and if the fuse is good and I touch the other side we'll hear it electricity is flowing through the fuse and that is why we're hearing that audible noise now we can go back to the regular ohm setting don't need to do this really and you can see that there's 0.1 ohms resistance 0 0.0 no resistance there power is flowing through this fuse. Now we can also test this with a test light in the vehicle if you like in the fuse panel by taking the probe and touching the top of this and checking to see if it has power on both sides or if it has ground on both sides. So if this is a power circuit it's gonna have to have power on both sides to be good and if it's a ground circuit, you want to see ground on both sides, and that means that it's good. But if you have power on one side and ground on the other, that means the fuse is bad, and that the little, the little metal piece on the inside has popped. It is a defense mechanism of the car to use so that electricity does not flow through the system if there's too much power going through it. The delegation for 30 amps means that at 30 amps or above, this fuse will pop, which means electricity will not flow through it. So let's go ahead and pop a fuse and see what changes. All right, guys, I got a little baby two amp fuse on the bench vise here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our 12 volt battery to it. And I have the microphone set up right here so we can hopefully hear it pop. So what I'm gonna do is I'll hook up my power wire there and we'll touch the ground wire and we should see if we hear the fuse or see it pop. I don't know if you were able to hear that or not. I could hear it and I could see the fuse pop. So let's go ahead and look at it and see what happened. So as you can see, hopefully in the lens here, the fuse has kind of a dark burned color because it popped and you cannot see both ends of the prongs connected. They are no longer connected. There will be no continuity. Now, you, this is just a visual check, but what we can go ahead and do is we can check this with our multimeter, and we're gonna test the difference between the good fuse and the bad fuse. So let's do the good fuse first. We'll go ahead and touch both ends of the prong. Good fuse, now let's go to the bad fuse. We'll touch positive and negative ends, and it's still overloaded. Power cannot flow through this fuse because it has been popped and it is bad. So we know this fuse is bad. If we were to take our test light and test this in the vehicle, if this was plugged in, you'd get power on one side and ground on the other. And we know that's bad because you either want power power or ground ground. You can't have both on one fuse. It's popped. So that's how you test to see if your fuse is bad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been another video from Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out the next videos in this series as we're going to continue on to talk about electronic components in your vehicle. As always, this is Anthony, DO Auto Tech. I've already said it, but we'll see you next time.
Come on.